आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनराइवल द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at simple-yoga.org where you can also find dozens of videos for practice hundreds of articles videos for chanting and guided meditations to enrich your practice i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration I am grateful for your comments and questions. It really makes my day to know that Unravel the Thread is making a difference in your practice and in your life. This podcast presents excerpts from the book Unravel the Thread, the complete guide for living the Yoga Sutras today. The podcast also offers practices inspired by the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. If you love the podcast and want to support my work as an independent content creator, On the simple-yoga.org website, you can easily donate to keep the podcast going. Today, we will explore It's Up to You. In recent episodes, we have explored a variety of useful techniques for becoming more familiar with our awareness and its contents. These practices help us to experience our awareness directly. As a result, Most of us can feel more relaxed and at peace. Today we will zoom out from specific techniques to clarify our perspective. We have to find yoga as you organically growing aware. It is really important to remember that your awareness has been with you from the very beginning of your life. As we are probably noticing through these exercises, we just seem to lose connection to our clear awareness. It may feel as if our awareness is clouded by all the activity going on around you and within you. Let's recall that all that activity is what Patanjali told us about at the beginning of the Yoga Sutra in chapter 1. He said that yoga is modulating these activities. In Sutra 1.2, so that we can experience our natural open awareness, Sutra 1.3, instead of misidentifying with the contents of our awareness, Sutra 1.4. The episodes What is My True Nature and Returning to Our Nature invited you to explore your own clear awareness. Other episodes Attitude and curiosity, improvising and experimenting, awakening, the essential question, guided you in exploring some of the beliefs and assumptions that may be influencing your perceptions and tendencies. The theme that runs throughout the Yoga Sutra is that there is nothing fundamentally wrong with you, but often, instead of staying in our clear awareness, We follow some of our habits, inclinations, and preferences, our ways of being in Yoga Sutra 1.3 and in Sutras 1.5 to 1.11, and as a result, we end up believing that we are the temporary contents of our awareness. There are four aspects to this approach to yoga. First is the realization that there is nothing fundamentally wrong with you. This is so important that it deserves to be repeated. Second, yoga is a process of developing sensitivity to the quality of our connection to our consciousness so that we can more easily notice if and how our ways of being obscure our clear awareness. Third, Yoga offers us ways to modulate our ways of being. Fourth, it is up to you to embark on this journey and to go through this whole process of self-discovery. That is why this definition of yoga begins with you. You know yourself better than anyone else. 
Even if you follow someone else's advice, you're the one who has to decide if their advice makes sense for you. Then you are the one who decides to do the work. You are also the one who will live with the consequences of your decisions and actions. It is entirely up to you. It makes sense because you are the world's greatest expert on you. The fact that this journey of self-discovery is entirely up to you can make yoga the easiest or the hardest thing to do depending on whether you are your best friend or your own worst enemy. As wise teachers have said in the past, Yoga cannot change your beliefs, dispositions, intentions, and actions. Only you can. And because this is a lifelong personal process, it is imperative that you make the conscious decision to do it for yourself. For even if you are committed to staying with this process of exploring the depths of your inner world, you will need the unwavering intention that Patanjali mentions in Sutras 113 and 114. Patanjali also suggested in Sutra 115 that we release our attachments to the results of our actions, perhaps because striving for a specific outcome may preclude us from noticing all the meaningful feedback that we are receiving at every moment. Gradually, over time, you will notice that you begin to develop a new tendency or habit, the habit of noticing when you let go of your connection to your natural awareness and the tendency to return again and again to the presence of being, right where you are, doing what you're doing. I hope that you find these ideas worth your reflection and contemplation and that they give you enthusiasm and motivation to continue on this exploration. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that your exploration this week is enjoyable and that you will join me next week to continue learning more simple and effective techniques. Remember. If you have any questions when trying to apply these ideas, do not hesitate to contact me through my website simple-yoga.org. If Unravel the Thread is part of your day and you feel generous, I would appreciate it if you could support my work by subscribing, liking and sharing. If it is possible for you, you may also support my work by offering a donation at simple-yoga.org. Thank you. Remember that you can have your own copy of Unravel the Thread. Until next time, Namaste.